Alright, what's up guys? Welcome to your second Android tutorial in the finishing touches series here where we're gonna get basically our ad mob up and going here. We've downloaded the ad mob Android SDK through Eclipse, or if you guys chose to download here on uh, admob.com, make sure you extract it in a place where you guys will know where it's at because we need to get the jar file from it next. And what you guys want to do is click this link, uh, see the developer's guide examples, you know all that good stuff and basically this is going to be walk through this is basically all I'm going to be telling you guys how to do so if you guys would prefer to read it you can do it here as well but if you like just watching and not reading like myself then continue watching the next thing we have to do is add the jar to our project for the most part and I've already done it here but uh, all you need to do is right click on your package go down to properties and then go to Java build path right here and what you're going to want to do is say add external jars and again I downloaded it through through Eclipse so if you guys did it a different way you want to um, you know find your jar where you downloaded um, basically I'm going to go to my hard drive or wherever you guys downloaded the SDK to start with find your SDK package which would be Android SDK Mac or Windows then go into extras I believe or it's add-ons let me check be extras and then under the Google folder there's the and or the AdMob ads SDK click on that and as you can see right here here's our jar file that we're looking for so hit that hit open and as you can see adds the Google AdMobs ads SDK in our build path so that's what we're gonna want then all you have to do is hit OK and you get this new reference library and this is where our AdMobs is coming from and now what we want to do is make sure that your project has access to the internet as well as access to the network state so we're going to go into the manifest make sure those are both make sure both those permissions are added to our to our project here because that's what we're going to need to update the ads get them running so I'm going to go into the permissions tab down here do it the easy way easy way say add uses permission and then I'm uh, gonna look for the internet one as well as the access network network state which is right here you guys want to click on this one make sure that one's added and then we're gonna add one more uh, use permission and uh, this one will be for the internet so again scroll down look for the permission for the internet alphabetical should be easy but it's always difficult alright Android permission dot internet there you go we'll just double check in XML make sure both of those permissions are added and um, you know there we go basically we have our jar set up and our permissions set up so in the next tutorial I'll show you guys actually how to reference it within your activity so I'll catch you guys then have a good one